All right, this time I feel like starting with the Earth Killer. All right, now to the important solar stuff. Just mounted the inverter, 1500 watt, pure sine wave by Go Power. Uh, I get those cheap. And by the way, I'm not a salesperson. I'm just looking to help people and help myself to some free solar energy. But um, yeah, I get those pretty cheap too. I was going for like seven or eight hundred on the internet, but you can find them for like 475 ish. So uh, not too bad. It is pure sine wave. It will actually do 1500 watts instead of uh, what a lot of these are saying they'll do and then they won't. Uh, like the 3000 water is barely doing 800. People are finding out and whatever. Anyway, this is a good brand. So uh, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, it's got a GF GFI plug. Let's see that. You can't. You might not be able to see it. Anyway, uh, got two things on there. And this is a 24 volt system. So it says input voltage, the top bar. Let me turn the light off. Yeah, it definitely does not help. Uh, you can't see it, but that top bar right here is the input voltage, and it says 20 to 32. 20 is the cutoff. Uh, you don't want to run D cycles below 10 volts, or you do some real damage. Uh, and the other one is the load, and the watts meter to show what the current draw is. This thing does have a low power mode when it doesn't detect any draw. It'll cut down to like less than three watts being pulled off the battery, and it has the auto sensing uh, capability that when you turn something on, it turns on. So it's pretty nice. Uh, and the MP MPPT is so we can squeeze everything out. And uh, for us, the idea of this system actually is to live off of this power. So uh, we're going to be adding some batteries right here. I'm going to create a stand. Um, batteries will come right about here. So my two gauge wire will literally be probably less than a foot long, so there will be little to no loss. I'm going to install two um, distribution blocks, one right here, one right here, and just run the negative and positive into both of these units from here. So I'll keep my runs really really uh, short to avoid loss. Now this thing, this came with the charge controller. I'm, I'm thinking that's some kind of EMI arrestor or something like that. Or, or whatever these things are called, but I think it's for EMI and uh, the interference and stuff that you'll get sometimes. And uh, I'm not really sure where it even goes. Uh, on the top of this here, this is a battery temperature sensor. Uh, so you just attach it to your battery and wire it in. And I'll go over the wiring on this later and how I do everything and whatever. So um, that's about it for now. And I guess the final thing we can look at if my switch hasn't killed it yet, which it has, I was going to show you how much I made today on a very poor day. Uh, made 800 watts. So. All right. Take care. Bye.